Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room windows. What is a window? Well, it's really a hole in our structure. So you have to be very, very careful when it comes to noise transmission with that. So sound is like water. It will find that weak link. Windows and doors in our structure is they're holes. So those are the weak links. Windows and do doors are holes in our boat. I always use the analogy about building a boat that we have to put in the ocean, not in a lake, but in the ocean. Because in the ocean, we have big waves that are gonna hit our boat, right? Well, same thing we have in a room. We have noise and it's composed of waves that strikes the barrier and hopefully stays out of our room. And then the flip side of that is the noise from the room can leave and go outside and bother others. So when we're building a barrier to design and build our boat, so to speak, we, we wanna make sure that it's strong and it can take these pressure waves, both from sound energy and from noise energy. That's the goal. And it can't leak because the leak really affects the middle frequencies and you have to be careful there. So the barrier wall density is very critical and the density must be consistent through the whole wall. Well, if we draw a wall, and we have a window in it, we can see the inconsistency right away. So the big key here with the window is that the window density must match that of the wall density. So if we have a wall density that's 20 pounds per square foot, then our window should be 20 pounds per square foot. Now you're not gonna find over the counter windows that meet that expectation. And that's where we get in trouble here. So the, if the window density must match the wall density, we got to look for a window that has that kind of density. And most windows don't. And that's why most windows don't even have ratings. But those that do, they have what's called an STC rating, which is sound transmission class rating. Okay, and it'll have a number, 40, 50, 60, whatever that is. But here's what you have to remember about STC. The frequency range that it works at is 125 to 4,000 hertz. Well, what about the low frequency? What about the bass? What about everything below 125? Nothing. Well, that's not going to work, especially in a music room with full range energy, especially with noise energy that's full range. You're going to stop that garbage truck in the alley? Nope, not going to do that. Secondly, along with the density requirement, is the window must not leak. So it's got to seal correctly. That's a little bit easier to do than it is with a door. But the seal is critical. So we have to have the density and we have to have the seal to keep air from leaking. Windows and doors walls are all frequency and amplitude dependent. That's why measuring noise is so critical. Without noise measurements, you're just guessing. And I get constant <laughs> emails and calls about people. They're excited. You know, they read about this. They read about that. They want to try this. They want to try that. And my first question to them is, what is the enemy? What are we fighting? Because if we're going to build a barrier to protect our castle, so to speak, we got to know how big the enemy is, how strong it is, what weapons it has, what's the frequency and amplitude of the problem. So we have to measure it. And just as important, we have to measure it over seven days because one day may be different than the other. One day may be stronger than the other. We have to take all of that into consideration. So our room or boat must be a big sealed container that protects us from pressure and middle and high frequency leaking. So that's the goal with everything here in the room. We're building a sealed container and it must conform to all kinds of variables across the board. Room windows. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.